What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be working on the CRV. So I've gathered up some parts that we're going to put on. I've got these fog lights. I ended up, I bought these at the Goodwill, like, I don't know, a year ago. Put the glass, the old. So I thought it'd be cool, throw it on there. I got some tail lights and a radio. Cause these tail lights got some damage. Got like a hole there. Or maybe they drilled those holes to let water out. But I'll put them both on so they match. I mean this one's a factory one too, but it's got more scratches. These ones are off the same car. I'm gonna put a radio in. Put that one on. Cause right now <clears throat> this radio it just kinda isn't bolted down or anything, so I'm gonna put the whole new setup in, including this panel there, because I have the entire thing. Also, we're gonna put the RSX wheel on it before I go to work today. That way I can see how it is on the way to work. Sounds good. So I got the radio out. This thing just pulls out. And there you go. Did the connections on the back with the radio, but the new one bolts in using these side johnnies. This radio doesn't have any of the factory brackets, but we might end up using this radio if the other one is not Bluetooth. So that'd be nice. I might have to pull off some of these interior plastic. So I just got most of the interior ripped apart. This is the old radio. It's a new one, but I'm, I'm going to hold on to it. But I completely swapped out the climate control. Just because this one came off a parts car I had with a lot less miles on it. And this radio was brand new in the car also. But I just hooked up the Bluetooth to my phone and I play music. So that was a big deal because that one worked very uh very easily too it just connected to my phone right away and so did this one but this one's a pioneer so i'm gonna run that i dropped all the plastics so now i can get a bolt through the side so this whole thing will be bolted in and so you can't just pull it out uh the next thing i'm gonna do is change the steering wheel out um uh, yeah, just getting a little bit more familiar with the car, but noticing like little things here and there. Missing a little clip. Those clips. It'd be nice to redo the headliner because it's pretty dirty. But uh, yeah, it's an update. We're gonna do tail lights, the wheel, get my radio set up because it was pretty janky before. And yeah, it's looking better. So I've been working on the harness for the radio. I've already done a few of these. Um, Resoldered them. I'm doing the whole thing. I was putting that radio back in, getting it all buttoned up, and um, the radio was just cutting in and out and stuff, and just when I'd grab the harness, it would get better and worse. So all these have... Uh, just been twisted and, and taped. There's no solder, no butt connectors, so I'm gonna redo these and uh, we'll get back to work and I'll put that RSX wheel in there also. But yeah, don't twist and tie your radios, guys, because then you'll have to be back in there again. I'm just doing this now so I don't have to tear the whole dash apart later on. So now I'm going to put the R6 wheel on the CRV. This one's just really worn out. Feels gross. But I got the interior all reconnected. All the panels back on. But yeah, I'm going to do the steering wheel. I've already cleaned this one off. Scrubbed it really good. So I know this wheel is pretty clean. And I don't know. Just this grosses me out not like i really care that much but i'm gonna be driving it every day 
and I have a wheel that will fit that's better so might as well do it so I've already undone the connector there so I'm about to pop off the two side nuts uh, if you saw my very first video I ever uploaded to this channel uh, it's about putting in one of these R6 steering wheels into my Civic sedan um, you you'll know exactly how to do it you just have the two torx bits on the side then you pull the airbag out um, in the center and after that you just do the 19 or the 17 in the center you bolt it down put the airbag on uh, you can connect the horn and I'll show you that in a second so we'll see if this size fits Cool. First one we tried. This one's a T30. T30. So we'll take off these two. One on this side, one on the other. And the airbag will come out. So yeah, that ends up actually being a 14. Comes off easy enough. There it goes. So, that was nice and straight, we'll just put the R6 wheel straight on, but I have to get the airbag off of it really fast. Okay, got the new string wheel on, uh, we're not going to hook up any of these, this is for cruise control, this is for the airbag, um, this one's for the horn, which we're going to ground that on here. Um, there's a little tab right here, and that's all we're going to do. Um, we're not going to connect the airbag because it's a different style airbag connector. And we're just going to bolt this down, and we should be good. Alright guys, so check it out, got the RSX steering wheel and the CRV bolted right in and it should be a little bit better to drive this thing, I think it looks good in there, got the accurate steering wheel, accurate wheels, but looks cool, I like it and the radio's in so and we have that extra pocket now, so it's a little bit more daily friendly. I'm going to get my phone mount, I'm going to put it in here also. So check it out guys, I got some 4-door Integra rear disc brake set up. I got them off an Integra sedan because the e-brake cables are long enough to work. So these will be going on the back of my Red Civic. Um, I just want to redo these bushings, you know. I really wanted to do that on my car. Just pull mine off and redo the bushings here, the tow arm, and uh, rebuild the brakes. But I might as well do that with these ones that are already off the car. Then I'll just pull those ones off and just straight swap. But yeah, I need to find a prop valve. If anyone knows which one I need one off, I think maybe the SI. Uh, will work for my car um, but yeah I need an ABS delete kit so 
I think I just need to get some brake lines off a non-ABS car, like any Civic. I also picked up a Civic SI spoiler. It's from a coupe, so it might not look right on a sedan. I know they have sedan SI specific spoilers, um, but those are like just in Malaysia and stuff. So, But yeah, that's about it for this video. I'm just showing you guys more updates on the CRV. Uh, the stuff I got from the junkyard. So, so yeah, if you guys like the video and you like the CRV update, um, like the video and subscribe. Also going to be doing new stuff for the Civic. I also got to fix the Lexus over there and a whole bunch of stuff. Man, my life is a mess, but uh, thanks for watching and uh, peace out.